everyone, it's Smitty, and welcome back to another episode of Sweet Dreams. I just want to say real quick before we start is that I'm so happy you guys liked the first episode, and I'm so happy with all the support that I've gotten on it, and I'm really, really glad you're enjoying it so far. So thank you guys. And I wanted to show you guys something else. A little cloud spawned inside my house. Isn't this adorable? It's so cute. Uh, and this texture pack just makes it look extra cute um the texture was actually messed up for some reason i don't think it was written right uh with the texture pack that i have so i had to go in and i noticed that it wasn't uh it didn't have the right wording or something uh so i renamed it and the texture now works on the little clouds that were like flying around outside um in the last episode you couldn't really see them but when i came back in this is how they looked isn't it cute? It's so adorable and it spawned in here. I wish there was a way you can tame these and name these and keep them as little companions because I would have a whole farm full of these cute little clouds and just name them a whole bunch of stuff. And of course, I still have my little air bunny in the house, but uh, I think the clouds do despawn at night. So if there was a way for me to keep them, I would, but uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, as I was saying, uh, I wanted to start building some stuff today, so uh, I still am stuck on what kind of house to build. A lot of you said a castle, a cloud castle, and or living in the cloud. Um, I still haven't decided. I'm still so stuck on what to make for my house. So uh, let me kill these guys first. Uh, oh my gosh, oh, these get me so dizzy every time. Every time. Okay, I'm gonna eat some blueberries so I can regen. So, what I think I'm gonna do is, I am going to build, like, a little area for my orange trees and my blueberries. Kind of like a little farming house. Is that, is that what I think it is? <gasps> it's a unicorn. Oh my gosh, there's a unicorn spawned over there. Uh, let's go get it. We, got, we gotta have a unicorn have to have a unicorn so I installed this new mod called horns and hooves I don't know it's just a unicorn mod strictly all these different unicorns it's not part of mobile creatures uh, so I thought it would be really fun to try something new and oh shoot oh no I don't want to push it off the ledge uh unicorn get, come over here come on <laughs> how do I get him to come with me or do, how do I tame them I seriously have no idea how any of these mods- Oh no! No! <gasps> Did my unicorn die? Oh, it didn't die. It didn't die. <laughs> Stupid cloud. Blew him off the ledge. Uh, okay. So, we are going to try and just scoot him. Scoot him. Ever so slightly. Softly. Off. Oh! oh! <gasps> I didn't think it was that far down. Oops. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna kill my unicorn before I tame him. Um, all right. I think this is pretty safe. He's okay here. I will no longer try and shove my unicorn off the ledge. Uh, okay. Let's see. This is this working? I don't know if I need a saddle. I have no idea. Oh, okay. That didn't work. Uh, maybe I need to continue. To oh, oh, let me try and tame him with maybe a blueberry. Would that work? I keep trying to tame everything with blueberries. Oh, no, he didn't like that. Uh, okay, so let's try and get back on him again. See, see what happens. And it's- Oh! It worked! Little hearts! Little hearts came out! I think he's tamed. Does this mean he's mine? He loves me? Uh, okay. W one thing, one problem. I can't control him. Is this how the mod is supposed to work? Uh-oh. I don't know. Maybe I should read up on this. Or maybe the controls are different. Mm, I don't know. I'm pressing WASD and he's not. He's not moving. No! No! Stop trying to kill my unicorn! Uh, okay. I'm gonna check the controls real quick to see if it's different. Uh, I don't think they should be, but just in case, maybe that's why I can't really control him. Or maybe I need a saddle. I don't know. Oh! Oh man, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Where did that cloud go? Get away! Okay, so I'm gonna check the controls and see how I can control my- Apparently my unicorn is broken. I don't know what's going on with it, but I'll come back to it after. 
but hopefully he stays there or I could catch another one another time. I don't know, but it's broken for now. It's out, it's out of order. <laughs> Okay, now on to the adventure that I wanted to do was I wanted to actually go into the overworld and find some iron because I need shears because I need to make a sheep farm because I'm gonna need a lot of wool because I want to make stuff with clouds and rainbows and I need to dye things and stuff like that. So uh, let's go over into the overworld. I really didn't want to go much into the overworld playing with Sweet Dreams. I wanted to keep most of our my gameplay in the aether. Uh, but I guess I guess there's gonna have to be times where oh shoot oh shoot oh shoot oh shoot I wasn't paying attention oh this thing oh the oh, I need to get back inside I need to get back inside I'm gonna die. Ah! <laughs> So dying made me realize how much I needed a bed. So let's make a bed. I have some wool from some sheep that I've killed in the ether, but uh, yeah. So here's, oh, the bed's so cute. The bed's so cute. So now I'm just gonna sleep in that bed at night and hopefully if I die, I'll spawn back in there. Or, or, I could just always set my spawn point. That would probably work as well. So maybe I'll try and do that after. <laughs> um, okay, so as I was saying, we're gonna go into the overworld. I wanted to keep most of my gameplay in the aether, but I'm assuming that there's a lot of things in the in the overworld that I can't get in the aether. So I'm gonna have to make some trips sometimes, like going to get iron and going to get stuff for dyes and, and like other things that I can't think of just right now off the top of my head but I know there's a lot of things that I won't be able to get in the either so we're gonna, we're gonna have to make some you know casual trips over here sometimes to get some things so first things first I want to go find some iron so I guess oh oh already I just got here I just I just got here okay I found a hole in this hill we're gonna check out the hole I have a good feeling about this hole. I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of iron ore and things for me to take back to the aether that, you know, if I could just figure out how to get inside the hole, that'd be great. Oh, here we go. All right, oh, and, and there's skeletons. Oh, and they're shooting me. Oh, there's two, there's more. There's a lot of skeletons. Wow, I'm really bad killing skeletons. <gasps> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go out real quick, uh, kind of, you know, heal up, regen a little because uh, I have this really bad tendency to die all the time. So <laughs> we're gonna try and avoid that as much as possible, you know, over here in the overworld, even though I'm pretty sure it's inevitable that I'm gonna die because that's just, it just, it just happens with me. I don't, I'm really bad at killing things, especially, why am I attacking him? What is this going to do? What do I have in my hands? All right, I'm just going for it. I'm just going for it. Be brave. Focus. <laughs> I did it. I killed the skeletons. All right, so let's take a trip into this cave over here and see what we can find. Oh, and there is another skeleton. Ugh. Where are these coming from? I was wrong. There's no, there's no, there's no dungeon, but there are creepers. So let's, let's you know back away from them, even though they look very adorable. Uh, and this one too. Ooh, almost, um, that one almost exploded. Oh, and there, there, it, there it goes. That could, that could have been my life. Luckily it wasn't. So, all right. I'm feeling good about this cave. I see a lot of stuff. Look, there's, there's all this core, core. <laughs> I was gonna say ore and coal and I said core at the, oh, I don't know, my mind makes up words and stuff. Oh, whoa, <laughs> that scared the bejesus out of me. I, okay, yeah, that was close. Um, so as I was saying, there was a lot of coal uh, ore that was over there. Hopefully I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like we're gonna find some iron any any time now any oh there and there's a, a zombie i think and i just heard a skeleton uh there's there's a lot of there's a lot of mobs in here oh look is that is that coal or is that iron i don't know and what am i trying to do oh 
There's a skeleton. Okay. Okay. This is... Oh! And... Oh! Nah! Oh, shoot. I'm gonna... I'm gonna die in here. I'm gonna... I, I'm dead. And I'm dead. I am so dead. Well, I died. But uh, I'm pretty sure you all knew that was gonna happen. So, let's just move on from this. <laughs> and uh, continue looking for some ore that we need. Because uh, I need some iron to make some shears for my sheep puff. Uh, so I can shear them. Because I can't get anything like that up in the aether. So, <sighs> I think that might be coal. I'm not too sure over there. Um... It kind of looks like it. I don't know how the iron looks with this texture pack. Uh, so, you know what? Let's probably go back. And I hear something. I don't know what I hear. I think it's a zombie. <gasps> oh! Oh, look! <laughs> it's a baby zombie on a chicken. This is both cute and terrifying. It's adorable. It's very conflicting. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, and here comes another zombie. Where's my sword? And I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm dead dead again so i finally found some iron makes up for dying all those times but uh what's going on with this am i using a pickaxe i am using a pickaxe it's taking really slow to uh mine i don't know why anyways so happy so happy so all right uh where did that go where did did, did that just happen that just happened I didn't know you couldn't use an aether pickaxe on regular iron but it's okay I made a new pickaxe and I'm collecting the iron and I'm just gonna hurry up collect this and get out of here uh, because this is all we need we're good and I don't need I don't need to be in here any longer I don't I don't want to lose my stuff uh, oh wait there's one more iron there's one more iron right there okay I can't I can't leave it behind I, I need to I need to collect this too. So, after this, we'll go. Oh, and this one. Oh, wait. And and this one. And oh, and all all of these. I'm just gonna collect all of these, and then we'll go. <laughs> all right. So I'm coming with my shears. I'm gonna finally shear some sheep. I have been through so much just for those stupid shears, but we're good now. We're gonna collect. You know what? We're gonna collect some sheep because I just realized I don't have a sheep farm. I should do, I, I should make one of those. So we're gonna make one of those and we're gonna breed some sheep and then I'm gonna shear them. And they're gonna they're just, we're just gonna have a whole bunch of wool and it's gonna be awesome. So I made the tiniest little pen for now. I wanna breed them. I wanna see how the little babies look. They probably look so cute. Oh, that one's cute. But I mean, it looks the same as the sheep from the overworld. Uh, but you know what would probably look really really cute are the flying cows So I made a second pen with these little guys, and I'm gonna breed these and I want to see what the babies look like <gasps> Oh my gosh, look at its big head and wings. Okay, so I think I'm gonna build my house right around this area um, And well, I mean not my house <laughs> my uh, sweet treats farmhouse I don't know it's gonna be kind of like a farmhouse where I have my orange trees and my blueberry trees and with the texture pack they kind of look like candy so I thought it'd be really cool to make like a I don't know like kind of like a candy store so we're gonna do that except the only thing is that I did want to build some rainbow like roads and I'm gonna need dye I'm gonna need a lot of dye so <laughs> I'm gonna have to go and back to the overworld which is probably going to be really fun. Uh, and uh, yeah, get some dye and stuff. But I think as long as we're, you know, we don't step foot inside a cave, uh, we're good. So this is what I have so far. I'm not done. I still need to do some things to it. Uh, but for now, I put in my berries and then I put in my orange trees. Uh, but I do want to make a rainbow road and I want to make some candies that go on top of um the little sweet treats area because i want it to look like a little candy store so we're gonna have to go into the overworld and get dye i wish there was a way to get dye in the aether uh they should have flowers in here that give you dye but i don't think they do so let's you know go into the overworld and this is probably going to be really fun uh i'm going to stay away from some caves <laughs> me and caves 
we're not friends. Uh, and uh, also, I think I'm going to have a lot of trouble finding some flowers just because the texture pack, it's so... Uh, everything looks the same. So, and, and it's, there's a lot of pink. So, I think everything is mostly pink. Uh, most of the flowers. So, yeah. Luckily, I have a mod that tells me what everything is. But, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's go over here towards the field area and find some flowers. Uh, hopefully. Ooh. What is this? Are these daisies? Do daisies give you dye? Let's uh, take these just in case. So I think I found a whole bunch of flowers and a whole bunch of dyes. So I found red, yellow, and there's a flower that gave me light blue. So I don't have to go look for lapis. So that's a plus. Uh, but yeah, I'm just grabbing the last of the flowers that are around here. And I think what I'm going to do is just go back before the sun sets because I don't want to be out here at night. So I may or may have gotten a little sidetracked now. It's nighttime, and there's all these mobs out. I'm trying to get to the portal as fast as possible, and uh, yeah, we're good. We made it. We're safe. All right, let's get into the portal. Get back to the aether. What was that? <gasps> oh, it's a skeleton and a witch. Shoot, shoot, no. Run to the portal, run to the portal. Oh no, they followed me to the portal, and they killed me. Well, I almost made it out alive. So I am pretty much done with my sweet treats place. I have added the rainbows and little clouds uh, as the sidewalk and I added little candies on top of the sweet treats area. So I will eventually make it look more like a little candy store inside but I think I am done for the day. Let me know what you guys think about the little sweet treats place in the comment section below and also give me any any ideas for my home. I still cannot decide what to make a cloud castle, cloud house, something with clouds, something with rainbows, I don't know, any suggestions uh, would be greatly appreciated in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next episode.